hello everyone welcome to smart tech guys hope you are doing well uh, guys right now in front of you uh, there is a fuser unit and uh, this fuser unit is uh, of uh, hp laser jet printer and you can see uh, mm -hmm. this fuser unit uh, have the same size as uh, different uh, hp models like uh, hp laser jet 2035 or 2055 today we will change the uh, fuser sleeve or uh, I I I, uh, I remove this uh, fuser unit uh, to grease this because it's jamming the paper uh, inside the fuser. So today I will teach you how to unassemble this fuser and how to regrease it, and we will fix back this again. This fuser sleeve we will remove, unassemble it, and we will make a grease after clean, and we will put back in the printer and we will check. So the main reason to show you this video just to show you how to unassemble this fuser unit if you will be able to remove it from printer so you have to know that uh, how to unassemble this unit stay with me watch the steps and uh, follow it if you are technicians so you should uh, uh, use the same tools as i use to unassemble this fuser unit First of all, you will see here are two gears. Where we will remove this gear. Okay, and make sure that uh, this this uh, this gear. I will tell you later how to fix it back it again. Keep these parts aside, and this is one rod here. Okay, now there are four screws. One, two, three, four. We will unscrew these screws with screwdriver. Uh, it's not uh, difficult <clears throat> okay guys this four screws we removed this is the upper part and now the fuser the unit is visible in front of you there is a gear here Un unplug it and second guys there is one screw over here we will remove this screw Guys, you can see this part okay now uh, uh, mostly parts are assembled now there are two springs on the both sides we will unplug uh, it first of all the, the this fuser cable we will remove there's a lock here okay okay so it will be behind now with the help of nose player guys uh, here are I will show you here two springs okay one spring is here and one spring is here uh, we will with the help of uh, be careful it's uh, a little tight so you have to keep it from upside and with the help of long nose you have to remove it okay okay look how smoothly you see i removed it keep it aside here and same we'll do, we will do it same on the this, this side and I will push keep my hand up okay, guys you can see the both springs I can assemble now we are able to pull back our fuser this is actually fuser and the sleeve we will remove sleeve and regrease it okay guys this is a fuser this is our pressure roller uh, we will, we will clean it i think uh, this is the reason the paper is getting stuck inside this is not uh, well clean from inside we will clean it like this with the help of brush and we will clean this also with the help of uh, any napkin or tissue and we will regrease it okay guys uh, from that side uh, this blue color wire is for heater sensor we will remove this lock okay guys very smoothly remove it 
and then slowly without being damaged the sleeve if your sleeve is damaged already no problem you can replace it we will remove the sleeve yes this is a sleeve uh, this is a fuser uh, we will clean it guys and we will uh, put a grease again first of all uh, the clean method you can use tissue paper or any napkin first of all i will clean it a uh, little bit uh, this uh, old old grease is uh, dried on the fuser i will clean it and let me hold it uh, tissue paper okay. we'll clean this grease uh, i think uh, the old grease was also fine but uh, we will regrease it because i already opened it so if you want to change the sleeve you have to be careful that this fuser should be cleaned properly ok guys you can see it's already neat and clean not uh, much used so now <coughs> this is our sleeve and sleeve is fine no need to replace it uh, now I'll tell you which grease I use and you, you should use a very uh, grease very good company I have two grease one is made in USA and second is made in Japan I'll show you right on the camera I have this uh, SSP uh, silicone lubricant product this is made in USA and this is made in Japan use any use uh, any grease if you have you can see here I will use uh, uh, this grease made in USA prefer more go just just like a silicone <coughs> yes. look it's little the, from a long time i didn't use this don't put more grease because uh, it need a minimum quantity just to um, make uh, slashy in this fuser to rotate the sleeve on the fuser as you can see little bit I will put here uh, not much sleeve will rotate here ok guys right after make the silicone on everywhere on the fuser uh, this other sleeve is fine if you have a new sleeve you want to change it you can change it and my sleeve is uh, I think it's accurate now uh, there are two sides of this sleeve one is little black here and uh, this side you know you have to uh, careful about uh, the rotation of this uh, sleeve this black side should come on this pressure rollers uh, this care area so I have to see first our pressure will come like this here so uh, this side will come okay the fuser will come like this so that this black side we will put the black side on that fuser power cable side okay guys I will use my right hand to insert the fuser the sleeve in the fuser okay here we go slowly slowly yes it's fine cable should be come from here be sure the cable is fine <coughs> okay the same thing we will fix back again from here okay guys you can see it's very smoothly it's inserted Okay, sleeve is uh, rotating. Now we will put same way as we opened it. 
step by step. First of all, I will clean this uh, pressure roller. I mentioned earlier, we will clean everything. Okay, that is it. I will clean a bit. If you know from inside, if there is any part of paper, I will, with the help of brush, we will clean it. Okay. Now, okay guys. Uh, I will uh, tell you uh, the same fuser unit came with many uh, HP models. LaserJet 2035. Ninja? Huh? Nivea. Nivea. Nivea cream. No, man. Grease? 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 वैसलिन पूछ रहा है वो निविया बोलते हैं नहीं ग्रीस है नहीं ग्रीस ग्रीस है बस ग्रीस अभी मॉडल हम उसमें बारा शुरू करें सेम फ्यूजर नहीं नहीं अपने शुरू करना था मैं बता दिया था मैं क्या बोल रहा था मैं सेम फ्यूजर कहते हैं किस किस मॉडल में आते हैं सो द सेम फ्यूजर यूनिट यू कैन the same fuser structure you see here the same structure you will find in HP LaserJet 2035 2055D 2055DN uh, so if anyone of you have uh, uh, else other than Pro 400 uh, so you have you will use the same method okay guys uh, here is little tricky I will see first fix this it will come like this okay be careful you don't damage any cable okay, here we go this lock will come over here but before we fix the lock we have to there is a support uh, before we remove with the spring we have to put it back again okay guys so <clears throat> here are two two hooks that we will put back again so you have to see which side will come okay this is for left side i think and this is for right side yeah, here we go you will see the spring will come over here till down with the help of the same uh, <coughs> long nose uh, nose player we will Put back the spring. You can see this is a spring. Is the spring visible? Mm. Okay, this is the spring. Uh, no problem. Look, with the help of this, I fix this spring back. Okay, I will show you. Other side will be more clear here. Okay, guys, this side will be more clear. So. Okay, yeah, guys, you can see with the help of nose player, we will. <coughs> you have to put your one finger over here because it's a little tight, and spring you have to push pull from here. Okay, you can see very smoothly we fix back again. Okay, guys, and now the time is to fix this uh, plastic lock back again over here this is lock here okay guys you can see now i will see my fuser is rotating or not i will put this gear back uh, because before we fix we will check okay it's rotating fine Okay, now the time which part we removed earlier that this is the uh, sensor for ground ground sensor we removed it was removed from here as you can see okay there is one, one black screw over here 
watching it well guys this is sensor is fixed the cable will come from down okay this cable will come from here now the time is to put back again this part plus this suppose should come like this here we go there were four screws over here before four black screws i think we the four screw we will fix back here okay this is the fourth one the black one we mistakenly fix here but no issue move it again and uh, with the silver screw we will put here later this is not an issue if you don't misplace the screw the place from where you remove the screw put it back again the same place okay, here we go and the, this screw that the sensors are fine don't uh, damage anything during your operation so now the part we removed before we will put back again okay, it will come like this now the key thing is guys how to fix this gear back so i will show you here is one arrow sign and in this gear also there is one arrow sign so you have to uh, both arrow sign bring in front of each other so this is the alignment for this uh, fuser drive so i will show you right after i uh, bring on alignment i have to see first then i show you hold on Just first I will put then I will show you what you have to follow yes, here you will see you will see these two arrows should come in front of each other I think it's visible in front of you these are two arrows both arrows should be come in front of each other this is the alignment for this fuser gears okay guys so now uh, this fuser is ready to assemble back uh, in the printer so our video will be finished over here uh, this gear we will put back uh, where we will fix this fuser inside the printer then we will put back this uh, gear our fuser is ready it will uh, i will assemble it back again my video will end over here because uh, in this video my main reason was to show you that how to unassemble the fuser and how to change the sleeve and how to clean it and how to make a grease 
hope you understand the method if you have any question regarding this fuser pro 400 2035 hp laser jet pro or maybe hp laser jet 2055 you can ask me in the comments and hit like if you like this video and uh, i will appreciate your feedback so take care guys bye